what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we are going to talk about this video that came out a couple of days ago of tony moran who if you don't know him there's probably a good reason you don't know him <laughs> this is the gentleman who played the unmasked michael myers for that brief split second at the end of the 1978 classic that john carpenter directed and jamie lee curtis starred in alongside donald pleasance with nick castle primarily playing most of that role as the shape in that film playing michael myers so tony moran is the gentleman that you see at the end of the film when the mask comes off when laurie and him were kind of like waging it out at the top of the balcony when he's trying to choke her out and the mask ends up coming off he lets her go puts the mask on loomis shoots him that's tony moran that's the unmasked michael myers he apparently just goes to conventions for who knows why after the video i just watched he's very he's very upset about something i don't know what he's upset about i hope this man finds some sort of peace in his life and he gets some type of help because he goes to these conventions and he bashes the franchise not necessarily the franchise particularly his time on this film he makes claims that john carpenter beat deborah hill that's why she wore sunglasses around set he makes claims that apparently jamie lee curtis would sleep with everyone on set now again given how he comes off at these conventions and the fact that he kind of has like a shtick that he's playing he goes to these conventions and he it's it's a montage of different clips in this video where he's saying the same thing but to a different audience and doing like similar antics every time he's saying the same story he thinks the original film is a piece of crap that wasn't the word he used but he thinks it's corny he thinks the whole idea of it it's corny but yet he was in the film he brings up the fact that they asked him to do a sequel he he said f no i'm not doing that or something of that effect he just spends his time going to these conventions bashing the bashing the film bashing the fans at one point in the video there's a moment i guess where he had a fan come asking for an autograph he called the fan a nerd a loser and it's just like well why 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 are you here why are you here tony why what, what, what is your purpose here and then the people that are here with this guy the interviewers they're they're just sitting there kind of mindlessly nonchalantly they they seem very uncomfortable because tony is just he's being very rude he he can say these things sure you can you can say these things you you can say whatever you want to but why are you saying this stuff in this setting around people that you know are fans of this of this art fans of this film they came here to get your autograph and you're calling them a nerd you're calling them just you're calling the film corny it's just why why are you here tony i i i, I was literally just like i couldn't help but laugh at certain things because he clearly he needs he needs something he needs help and i don't know if this is just something that he's suffered with because his career never went anywhere or just because he had a bad life after this film because you don't you don't just act like this for no reason i just hope whatever is going on in his life it gets fixed i hope he learns that these conventions are not the place to talk about things like that uh you don't need to bash the fans of the film you you can think the film is corny that's that part is fine it's it's the degree in which he's going on about these things and then of course making claims that i don't believe are true the fact that jamie lee curtis slept around on set or that john carpenter beat deborah hill if they did those things one john carpenter if he did that that's horrible i don't think it's true but if he did that i hope he's learned from his mistakes and he does not do that again and jamie lee curtis sleeping around on set if she did that then she did that but i again i don't think these are true I don't think these are true because Tony seems like he deals with several things in his life. He seems like he's someone who dealt with uh, alcohol, perhaps. He seems like the and he abu he bashes Tyler Maine at one point in the video or the compilation of him at these conventions. And it's like, bro, well, why why do you come? Why why are you here? This is not what we're here for. That's literally like imagine if this was and he he goes on as if he was so notable in this film for he was not in the film for longer than maybe three or five seconds at the end so 
he goes on bragging about his participation and how, first of all these claims that you're making why were you on set this long if you were only going to be on the film for the three to five seconds that we saw you for he that's why these claims about john and jamie how can i take them seriously you were only you should have only been on set for probably not even a day maybe so you're telling me in a day you saw all of this and first of all why are you coming back to the set if you're done if you literally only have again i don't know how things were done back in the late 70s but if you only had five seconds of screen time what are you on the set this much for why are you here why 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 are they bringing you back unless they were shooting this scene multiple times for whatever reason shooting this sequence of him taking the mask off multiple times for whatever reason i don't know the whole these stories that he's telling they they just don't sound plausible because of the fact that his duration on set should not have lasted that long for him to know stuff like this and stuff like this doesn't seem like it would happen in the span of one day not to say that it can't but his his stories seem like they were across the span of the production again why are you on set this long why <laughs> why are you not to say that you can't go there but i just don't it's not it's unrealistic to me to think that he those claims he made about john or jamie have any credibility to them uh he seems like he has a lot of issues or abuse issues when it comes to like just alcohol just the way he looks and the, the words he chooses to use the mannerisms he chooses to use and just the way he comes off at these conventions it's like you don't need to be here sir you don't need to be here uh i again i i, I don't want to bash this guy because i don't know what his life's been like i don't know what he's been through but clearly there's something that's not right and you don't need to be in a public setting like this talking like this this is not stuff that i would talk about at a convention where i have fans in front of me who are not here to get bashed or hear stories like this they're here to hear lovable things and just nothing but high graces about this film not john carpenter did this and oh you're a nerd this that this is a corny film i thought it was corny like if he was leading with that and then he transitioned to oh but this turned out to be one of the biggest successes in the history of horror or something like that okay that's fine but something's wrong with tony i if you guys want to look at that video i'll leave a link to it let me if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video